This is a seal, which may not seem all that unusual in and of itself, but it was filmed in New York. And this is not a gimmick, this is not an aquarium, there are real wild seals in New York City. And in today's video, we're gonna find them. So stick around if you wanna see where I filmed that footage. New York is the concrete jungle. And of course, jungles mean animals. But when you think of wildlife in New York City, you probably think of the more mundane creatures, like the squirrels, the pigeons, and of course, the pizza rats. However, what I'm here to tell you is that there's a lot more exotic wildlife that you can find in the five boroughs. New York is, after all, a city of islands. In fact, four out of the five boroughs are islands. You've got Manhattan, Staten, and Long. And yes, fight me about it in the comments, Queens and Brooklyn are both a part of Long Island. As I started exploring more about the marine wildlife of New York City, I started hearing rumors that there was a seal colony within the five boroughs. Now, that got me really excited, and it was something I wanted to learn more about, but it was just rumors, nothing concrete. And like I said, with so many islands, there are so many rivers and miles of waterway. I couldn't just walk through them all and hope to stumble upon a seal. But everything changed when I came across a scientific paper called In Situ Observations of Pinnipeds, which in plain English translates to a bunch of academic researchers actually set eyes on seals in New York City in their wild habitat. This paper became the guide I needed to unlock the story of the seals of New York. Not only did it explain that seals used to be native to New York City and had gotten locally extinct about 100 years ago, but that they were slowly returning and that these researchers consistently found two seal colonies, one in the Bronx and one in Staten Island. And well, I wasn't gonna go to Staten Island. <laughs> I was ready to go spot seals in the Bronx, but there was still one more issue. The paper indicated that the seals would be quite far offshore. And well, I film these videos on a point and shoot camera. It just doesn't have the reach to do this subject justice. I would need a long telephoto lens if I really wanted to capture the seals of New York. But those lenses can be thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars. And that simply wasn't in the budget. There was a second option though. I could always rent the equipment. This was affordable and within my budget, but I couldn't afford it for a full week. I really could only afford one weekend to go and film these seals. And anyone who's worked with wildlife knows that deadlines and wild animals don't always play nicely. And on a Saturday morning, I woke up with the clock ticking and the hours hanging over my head to find a dreary, miserable, and cold morning in New York. Gathered up all my gear, I persisted, and I set out to try and find the seals of New York. Okay, hello there. We are off to a weird start to the day, a weird start of wildlife photography because we are in downtown Manhattan, but I'm gonna go get a car. I've got some fancy camera equipment with me and we are gonna try and do some wildlife photography. I'm off to a slow start because it's such a, a rainy and dreary day here. I didn't think it'd be a nice day, but I figured, hey, if you're gonna be a wildlife photographer, you gotta deal with bad elements. So we're catching up now. I don't have high, hopes that we'll find anything, but hopefully we'll find some seals. That's the goal. Let's uh, see what happens. All right, cut to this beautiful coastal landscape. We are still in New York City and we are at Orchard Beach, Pelham Bay Park. It is the largest park in New York City. And I mean, look, just take a look at it, guys. This was the view of the Long Island Sound that greeted me. Quite beautiful. And as if to really prove my point about what a cold and wet day it was, you can see that the morning dew froze onto the trees, created this glistening ice sculptures. Actually, quite incredible and a beautiful scene. But look, we're not here to stare at trees. We're here to find some seals. I'm out here all by myself, and this is, uh, this is where we're going to set up to go and try and spot some seals out there. Hopefully they're out there. We'll find out. All right, so moment of truth. Was I able to find seals? Well, none on these rocks. That is where the paper said they would be. What about this one? No, still still just birds. All right, this one's got a cool freighter in the background, but I'm getting nervous, guys. We may have an issue. Okay, well, um, seal hunting has failed. I didn't find any seals today. It's a disappointment, but I'm not altogether all that surprised. I kind of thought this might happen. As a consolation prize, I was able to film this. It's a historic point called execution rock the legend has it that people would be chained to these rocks at low tide and drowned as the tide rose the lighthouse is historic and dates to 1849 kind of cool but still not exactly what we were looking for no seals today but at least it's pretty this is a real beach 
in New York City. Time was running out. I had less than 24 hours remaining on the clock. For my plan B, I hopped on a train and headed east to Long Island. Now, this is not technically New York City, but it's still accessible by mass transit from Penn Station. And so I think it kind of counts. And based on these signs, it looks like there should be some seals here. Time running out, I got my gear set up and start scanning the water. At first, nothing. But then, what's this? Movement. We have seals. At first, they're far away, but eventually they get a little closer and we can even zoom in. And look at that. That's a bona fide New York seal. It's pretty incredible to see. These are really cute animals and a lot of fun to watch. And it wasn't just this one fella. In fact, we found an entire haul out of seals. Probably 50 or so rubber puppies sitting out on the dunes. Just amazing to see this in New York. Again, we're not in New York City proper, but we're only a two hour train ride outside of the city from Penn Station. And when we zoom in, you can really just see how much personality these animals have. I just love looking at them like this guy hanging out in the water. And when you see them playing in the water, that's maybe the best part, swimming against the current or just floating and bobbing their heads. They're such fun creatures and such fun animals, and it's amazing that they've returned to New York's waters. Look at this guy just soaking in the sun. <laughs> And you can tell they're really engaged by us. In fact, this seal was even making nearly direct eye contact with me and you knew he could tell we were there. And if you zoom in, you can just see exactly how much personality. You can even see the nostrils open and closing. Really amazing animals to see in the wild and in their natural habitat. So let's check back in on the haul out. And again, you can see when we zoom in, there's some really interesting animals here like this baby cub who's really just so cute, <laughs> really young, and, and the overall pack and herd of the animals is just quite impressive. So overall, this expedition was a success, and you can see I got some footage that I'm pretty pleased with, although it's not gonna win me any awards in National Geographic. Yes, it can be a little choppy. It was hard to get close to the animals. There's a little bit of bounce there, and that's because the conditions were just so, so tough. I went out to film these with my uncle, and just so you have a sense of the conditions, this is what the wind actually sounded like that day. It was really tough. And so maybe stills are the right format for this. So I think in closing, I'm gonna show you some pictures that my uncle took. He's just an amazing photographer and you won't have to deal with the jitteriness of my camera. All right, big success. Seals in New York, we found them here in Long Island. Not too far out of the city, although not in the city proper, I have to admit. All right, and that wraps up our story for now. You know, I was really excited in the moment and I called this a huge success, but as I watched the footage back, I'm not so sure if that's true. At the end of the day, I, it's true. I was not able to find seals in New York City proper. I was able to find them very close to the city in New York and on a public metro line, although it is a commuter rail, not like a subway rail. So. You let me know what you think in the comments. Can I call this success? Can I call it not a success? Do I need to go and rent the gear and go back to the Bronx and try and find the seals for real? I know I'm excited too, and if it's something you guys want to see, I'd be more than happy to do it. Anyways, I'll wrap it up for now. I hope you really enjoyed learning about this other side of New York City and its wildlife and its waterways. Thank you so much for joining. I've been Seth, and this is Submerged Stories. Since you've made it all the way to the end, you'll probably enjoy this other video of mine on diving with tropical reef fish in New York Harbor. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.